Five, four, three, two, one. This is the doctor bringing you the loser set in the uh, OSL round 24 group A between Bogus and Hyun um, on the map Gladiator. This is actually not a new map. Gladiator has been around for a while. Um, in fact, so uh, Hyun and um, Bogus. Bogus is actually pretty good. I think Bogus should be able to beat Hyun here and advance the final match. Where, uh, spoilers for those of you who for some reason do not watch this in order, where uh, Jadong defeated Flash, so Jadong's already out, and Flash is going to have to fight someone for a shot at getting to the OSL round of 16. Um, I mean, I might actually be somewhat relieved if Flash actually you know, loses and bows out of the OSL, because I think that would be a good thing for him in terms of his health. But, enough talk about Flash. Um, Hyun, let me just take a brief look at his statistics here. Um, I do not recall how good he is uh, versus Terran. Apparently he's terrible against Terran. He's 34% against Terran. He's a 43% uh, player overall. So, so I think Bogus should be able to beat Hyun here. And Hyun really lost in rather um, pathetic fashion in the first game against Flash. Uh, so, uh, Bogus played reasonably okay against Jadong, but he, he is not really a match for Jadong. Not a shock that he lost. Uh, I think, though, uh, Bogus really should be able to beat Hyun here. Um, and he needs to be at least consistent if he wants to be one of the uh, great players. Uh, maybe now is not quite the time to be uh, defeating Jadong or Flash, but he needs to be able to take out anyone else uh, in his path if he wants to be a great player here. I think it would be good for his career, certainly, to make it into the OSL and maybe get to the round of 8 or something like that. That would be very good. I think he's capable. Um, and perhaps next season he can... Uh, try to achieve greater heights. Hyun, there's not much hope for him. He's not going to make it deep in the OSL. I think he's going to lose here. And even if he makes it past Bogus, he's going to have to face Flash again. And Hyun's only hope against Flash is that Flash tired himself out too much with his wrist. That's pretty much the only way I can see Hyun winning. Uh, looks like this is a three hatch before pool bill coming for him. He's going for economic cheese. Um... This is the equivalent of the 14cc. Um, I mean, the Zerg 14cc basically is this. Now he's put down his spawning pool. So Hyun's going to scout... I mean, uh, Bogus is going to scout this, no problem. He knows what's going on. He's put down a Rax into CZ build. So Hyun's going to take an early economic leap. Let's see whether Bogus is going to be able to put on enough pressure early on. Now try to do some damage with some early Mag Marines. Hyun seems to be susceptible. Uh, uh, to that sort of attack, I think. So, um, so Bogus will have an opportunity here to do some serious damage um, if he is uh, on top of his game. In fact, Bogus already putting out a uh, Marine here with uh, SAV. He's setting up to do a bunker rush, or at least uh, pretending to do a bunker rush, forcing um, Hyun to pull off drones. Lost a Marine there, but managing to kill a drone. A uh, reasonably good trade. Uh, I think he's probably hoped to keep his marine alive in addition. Now the spawning pool is out and Zerglings will be out soon enough to chase away these marines. Well, and kill them really because Zerglings move faster. But I guess what uh, Bogus wants to do is he wants to pick off another drone or two. Always good to do as much damage as you can. He's forced quite a few drones to stop mining at least. Which is uh, in itself a nice little victory. And now, uh, uh, Bogus still... Ooh, nice hit with that Marine! Killing two drones with two Marines. A worthy trade, I have to say. Well done here by Bogus. Nice little early harass. Hyun's not gonna have any forces to counterattack anytime soon. He's just got a few links chasing around this SAV. Frankly, uh, Bogus, once he saw this build, he might have been better off going for a straight-up bunker rush. Bring four, four, five, SCB, plunk down a bunker. I don't think there's anything that Hyun would have been able to do to stop it. As it stands, Hyun's economy is uh, still booming. He's doing very well. He's working on his lair now. 
Bogus is starting to mass up his infantry here. Um, here's hoping that Bogus is able to utilize his infantry um, fairly well. Uh, by the way, this map Gladiator um, in TVZ is fairly even. TVZ is 56% in favor of Terran, but uh, that is over 30-something games. Uh, so maybe slight advantage to Terran, but again, statistics like that I think is more or less 50-50. Uh, because of uh, random variation, you know, some good Terrans, if Flash beat a couple players on this map, for instance, um, you know, that's not necessarily indicative. I always think skill is uh, really at the highest level of StarCraft skill is what matters. Um, map uh, statistics or map advantage, I should say, is not um, not something that you can entirely ignore. But I don't think uh, you should look at map statistics and say, "Oh, this map is so Terran favored. There's no way that Flash could possibly win." No, that doesn't matter. Um, but um, in any case, this map isn't even that unfavored. Bogus kind of sloppy here, letting a Zergling into his base to scout out everything. Even if Hyun suspects this uh, uh, this infantry push, it's still stupid to let it get scouted, considering he had so many Marines at the front of his base. So nice little work here by Hyun, scouting as best he can and seeing exactly what's going on. The one thing that uh, Bogus is, uh, or rather Hyun is going to have over Bogus is that Bogus is not going to have his plus one upgrade finished anytime soon, and I do not understand what Bogus is doing. He's letting this Zergling stay around for way too long in this space. This is, this is just an error. You can't do that. Uh, let's see. Hyun, this time, he's playing it super safe. He's put down two Sunkins at the front with a creep colony ready to morph as necessary. He does not want to get caught uh, by an early break like he failed against Flash. And now Hyun is uh, massing up his mule list for counterattack here. Bogus does not have anywhere near the number of infantry to be able to put any sort of pressure on the front. So I think Hyun um, is actually in a pretty good position now in this game. Uh, let's see how good his Mulus harass is. If he can do good damage with these Mulus, um, uh, he can still, uh, I, I think he'll be firmly in the lead. Bogus uh, stimming his Marines, trying to catch the Mulus on the field. He does not have plus one attack, so Marines not nearly as potent against Mulus. Bogus also putting now turrets around his um, uh, buildings to protect them as best he can. Uh, Bogus also built two fire bats. Unfortunately, they really hadn't had the opportunity to do too much. And now, Hyun going in for the attack, but warded away by these turrets and medic marines here. Um, I actually think it's a bit of a mistake for, uh, for Bogus to send two fire bats out like that. Fire bats could actually be quite useful these days. If uh, Hyun decides to go for a Ling Mealist attack, those fire bats will prove their value. Um, to deal with any sort of uh, Ling surround, I actually think the fire bats are is foolish to throw the fire bats away like this. Now they're just going to get chased down by the Mealist, and it's hardly going to matter. And now, uh, and those fire bats would even be great to absorb any sort of sunken hit if um, Bogus wanted to break the front. Unfortunately for Bogus, there's no way he can break the front. There are four Sunkins, a fifth one more thing. Bogus scans. If he goes for the attack, which like he will, Hyun's gonna be able to bring his Mulus in for a, a attack at the back, and this is gonna be a failure, I feel, for Bogus. He's managed to pick off one of the Sunken colonies. Actually, his Marines are doing quite well. Uh, Hyun not with the best Mulus micro, losing most of his Sunkins. This should not happen. There's only one Sunken left, few Zerglings coming out, and I think Hyun is gonna be able to hold this off barely but reinforcements coming up for Bogus. I don't know what the deal with Hyun is. I have to say, this is poor play, uh, poor defense, and then Bogus may in fact break, even though he shouldn't have. Hyun just with, with terrible Mulus Micro, not really doing the damage he needed to do with the Mulus. And credit to Bogus for uh, sticking to his guns and going for the attack. Fortunately, now Hyun manages to mop up this force. Uh, Barely holding it off. Oh, it looks like Hyun went for a super fast hive. That's why he didn't have any other units uh, to help defend. And, 
and Hyun did manage to win, just barely, wiping out Bogus' army. Um, and now Hyun is in a dominant position, he's got Hive Tech already, and he might be going for uh, these infantry of Bogus's. He's going to mop out most of the infantry, and Bogus forced to withdraw to his bunker. And at this point, Hyun going for early Ultralist Cavern, he wants to uh, really uh, use Ultra Ling to win it at this point. And I fear that there is not too much Bogus can do. Hyun has three bases up now. He's got complete map control. Bogus is cowering his base. Um, I still feel that attack was a mistake. Bogus did better than I thought he would, but uh, he would have been better off preserving those forces probably to attack the third base. After all, Zerg with two gas, not really able to support too many Ultralists. I don't think Bogus would have been too bothered. He wanted to try to win the game at that point, though, and uh, it just did not work out for him, unfortunately. And uh, Bogus pushing out with a second force of infantry. He wants to try to put some pressure on and try to see some sort of control back from Hyun. Uh, in this game, I just think he doesn't have enough units to be able to do anything. Um, Bogus is going to march his way over to the 3 o'clock expansion. Hyun, what does he have? He has a Nidus. Uh, he needs to bring some units over there to defend. Hyun, what is he doing? He is basically given. This is like giving. This is like a mulligan here. He's giving Bogus a way back into this game. Unbelievable uh, play by Hyun. And Bogus is going to mop up all these forces, it looks like. Um, the drones and the lings come in, but the Marines able to clean up everything. And he's going to be able to kill the hatchery. This is. If Hyun had two sunkens there, he would have been fine. As it stands, Hyun, I mean. Somehow he managed to fend off the, the, the first attack, but he decided that he actually wanted to lose. This is snatching um, defeat from the jaws of victory. This is exactly what it means. And now Bogus has a big army. He's got science vessels. He's going hardcore SK Terran. And there are slow ultralists out here for Hyun. He's got a lot of armor on his ultralists, but no attack upgrades. Um... I think he's he's out of this game now. He lost his third base and all the drones there way too early. For, uh, Hyun at least has another base up, it looks like, at the 1 o'clock, but I, I don't think he can absorb the loss he did. That base is barely mining. Hyun's forced to spend all sorts of drones to morph Sunkins at the front to defend. Factory is actually lifted here for um, for Bogus, so he is going hardcore SK Terran, Titan's Vessel, Medic Marines, uh, very potent when utilized correctly. These Ultralists rampaging all over that single medic. Bogus does not care. And where are Scourge for Hyun? Now these Titan's Vessels irradiated all these Ultralists. Uh, Scourge coming out here for Hyun. He's going to start counterattacking. He's managed to build himself a reasonable number of Ultralists. Nice Scourge uh, there. And now, massive attack by Bogus at the natural of Hyun's. He's desperately bringing all his slow ultralists back. These men and marines absolutely potent, slaughtering most of the sunkens. Defense matrix on the marines. These ultralists no match. And Hyun has snatched defeat from the jaws of victory indeed. Poor play by Hyun. He was doing fine, but... Um, well, you know, this is what it means to be sort of a bad player. Not much to be said. GG by Hyun. Good effort by Bogus, I have to say. I was worried for him after his uh, first attack of the natural failed, but, but against a player of Hyun's caliber, there is nothing to be worried about. Going on to the final match.